King Kong is a 1933 giant monster movie from RKO Pictures. The story has been retold twice in major motion pictures and has been mirrored and lampooned in countless other media, but in case those watching aren't aware, a film crew goes to a foreign island where they encounter Kong, a giant ape-like monster, and then bring him to New York City to display in a show. Inevitably, King Kong escapes. Should note, there's also dinos, even dinos eating people, dinos fighting Kong, multiple dinos fighting Kong, giant snakes fighting Kong, biplanes fighting Kong, Kong beating the hell out of a train, plus some more imaginative creatures like this skull crawler type guy, who by the way, doesn't get a lot of screen time, but I just love how this imaginative creature is just thrown in there, so casually. I think lighting wise, the movie looks phenomenal. Great contrast from the darks and lights, but still able to convey shadows and fog. Acting is great. A lot of the time with older movies, I feel like the characters are played too straight, as if they have no emotions at all, but here, it's a nice medium between classical acting and realistic emotions. Pretty clear 1930s underwater shot. I forgot the natives dressed as gorillas in the dance in this one. I like that little detail. The build up to Kong is decent and I love how expressive he is, always moving his eyebrows and lips. The projection work is usually very good and the giant props that were made, love them. So Kong on the top of the Empire State Building, we get the wider shots, we get the POV shots, we get the close up of the pilot shots, crash shots, it all works great together but the movie really should have thrown in the music sooner or trimmed this whole scene down a bit because it's a lot of the same over and over. You can kind of see a white outline around the foreground humans and projection shots, but how minimal it is is occasion for applause. Sometimes the background does move before the people do. Overall, the music is well done as the film, a lot actually. There are a lot of scenes that the sole, or almost the sole audio, is the music, and it helps keep the pace up. The version of the film I watch starts off with an overture over a still shot that says overture. It's not bad per se musically, but I'm here for the movie, not the music. And while I appreciate that the music itself is good, I feel like the four minutes it accompanies up to the start of the movie could have been cut, or at least accompanied by opening credits. I mean, Actually, the opening credits already have its own music. Perhaps this was playing before the film, wherever the previews would be for us, and is included for preservation. I don't know. I'd prefer it as a special feature, but I am moving on. The stop motion in general isn't the most fluid. Some of the human props definitely aren't convincing. Even though I did give props to the projection work earlier, there are plenty of times where the lighting and especially shadows don't line up with what is in the foreground. The love story stuff falls flat for me. Big monkey likes small lady and gives himself shot up and dies supposedly due to it. Silly. There's a lot to see in King Kong 33 and it's mostly all good. It is a classic and there's a reason why. So that or <laughs> that is King Kong 1933. It's a classic, and there's a reason why it's a classic. Definitely a must-watch. Thanks for watching.